Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. I am coming to you in my pajamas this morning. Is anyone just at the point now where they don't care anymore? Like, I'm literally about to get on a Zoom meeting looking like this. I do need to take my Invisalign out, but I just simply don't care anymore. Um, that's just where I'm at. So, hi, good morning. I'm getting ready to go on a Zoom meeting with my bookkeeper because we're starting the old tax process, which is literally so stressful as someone who's been played. This lighting is not great, but um, I washed my hair for the first time last night since getting my hair done. And I feel like it faded so much, like especially in this lighting, you can definitely still see that it's red, but it's so much less vibrant. And I've heard a lot of people say that having red hair is like extremely high maintenance, especially if you're going from blonde to red. I'm like kind of bummed. I might look into some sort of like in-between appointments situation, like overtone, or I don't know if anyone has any recommendations for stuff like that, let a girl know. But I am in love. I'm in love with my hair. I'm having so much fun with it. And it's just been such a fun new era of life. I know I keep saying that, but it's a freaking blast. I have a busy day today because we were at actually supposed to be leaving for Disneyland tonight, which is sad, but we're not going anymore. We had to cancel it. We didn't have to cancel it, but we chose to cancel it because it's going to be like 90 degrees in Anaheim this weekend. There's a heat advisory going on and like I truly cannot think of a place that I would rather be less than Disneyland during a heat advisory, so we will absolutely not be doing that. No way, not for me. I just realized I made my breakfast um, and I'm sitting here to eat it and my meeting starts in one minute, so I'm gonna go put this in the fridge <laughs> and take my meeting and we will reconvene. Why did I even bring this up with four minutes to spare? I don't understand. Good morning, sorry about the lighting in here. How are you? Okay, done with that. That was nice. We are going to semi get ready because I'm going to my last appointment <laughs> of all the appointments that I have booked for like early this year. I had my laser sessions slash I got Botox that day, my hair appointment, my brows, and now I'm doing my lashes and then I promise I'm done. I set aside some funding to uh, fund all of this and it's just a lot and I'm ready for it to be over. <laughs> I've only gotten my lashes done one time and it was back in like 2017 and it it was okay, but I really, um, I saw this girl on Instagram and I really liked what she did. So I was like, I wanna try it again. I love the idea of like not having to put on mascara or lashes or anything. I don't put on lashes really, but you know what I'm saying. So I can't really put on like makeup well, I guess I could put on like face makeup because, you know, still trying to cover this bad boy, which um, update, it looks the same to me. It doesn't look in the camera. It looks even darker than it looks in real life. So I don't know. I don't know how long it's supposed to take, but that was session two of possibly six. <laughs> So hopefully after like uh, session three, I'll start to notice something. It's kind of making me nervous that I'm like spending money and like it's not gonna work, but I will try. I will keep trying. I need to go downstairs and eat my breakfast because I didn't get to obviously before my meeting. I ended up waiting until way too late. That is an ADHD thing. <laughs> I know you guys have told me where I basically wait until 10 minutes before I have to do something and then I run around my house in a frenzy. I really wanna make some coffee, but unfortunately we've had an issue arise. Uh, I'm not gonna jump to conclusions, but I will see a doctor about it and we'll, we'll go from there. And maybe some of you who are experiencing similar things can let me know your whole outlook on it. But um, I was sick back in like November of 2021 and we all got tested. We got sick from Drew's niece, um, his five-year-old niece. And she had gotten tested and she tested negative for COVID. And then Drew and I got sick and we tested and we both tested negative for COVID. And it felt like what I could only describe as a sinus infection. Like my nose just burned like really bad and it burned for like 
a long time after I wasn't sick anymore. And even like to this day, it still kind of burns sometimes occasionally. It's like trying to like clear itself up or something. I don't know. And I lost my smell and my taste when I was sick. And I was just like, oh well. And I even kind of considered at the time, like maybe this is COVID, but again, was testing negative. So now <laughs> here we are like two months, three months after getting sick and things have started. You know that kind of good thing that people are talking about? <laughs> Things have started smelling and tasting off. And when I say off, I mean kind of like garbage. It's really not pleasant. And it started with coffee. And Drew was making coffee one day and I was just like, do you smell that? And he was like, what? And I was like, I think something's up with our coffee machine. Like I think something's wrong. Like it, the water is like rotten or something. He was like, I don't smell anything. And I was like, you don't? And so every day he would make coffee and I'd be like, ew, it smells in here. And when I would sniff the coffee up like really up close, I could smell the coffee, but like the smell in the air was just like poop. Like it smelled like poop. And then we were taking a walk. We do like um, weekend walks now where we walk around our entire neighborhood and it's like a three mile walk. And when we walked past this restaurant, I smelled the same smell that I smelled when we were making coffee and I was like, oh my God, that's the same smell. And I started like panicking. I was like, do I have that thing? I think it's called parosmia, but I'm pretty sure you have to have had COVID to have that. I don't know. I don't think it's common for someone who had had a sinus infection. So I'm like, wait, did I have COVID? I don't know. And then probably like two days after that, things started kind of tasting off. And luckily the taste hasn't been as bad as the smell and I'm hoping that it stays this way. It's been like a couple weeks now, but coffee kind of has like an off taste and some meat kind of tastes off. And I don't really know, my protein shakes kind of taste weird now. So it's really freaking me out and I hope that it doesn't last forever because my sweet friend Alexa has had parosmia for over a year now and it's like affected her life pretty badly. So I'm really hoping it doesn't like stick around. But now I'm like, wait, did I have COVID? We will see what ends up happening. I'll keep you updated. But for right now, it's not the most pleasant thing I've ever gone through. And in fact, it's gotten to the point where I kind of like dread the smell. Like as soon as I smell it again, I'm like, oh, why? It's so stinky. So if any of you are going through the same thing, let me know. Because it seems like maybe when we were sick back in November, we actually had COVID. I don't freaking know. Even though we both tested negative. I've got to figure out like a different angle situation. This isn't great. But I, when I was at the mall the other day, I went and I shot inside the fitting room at Abercrombie. And on my way out, there was a Sephora. So I grabbed a couple of things. One of which is this Anastasia Brow Freeze. It's a brow styling wax. It's just clear. And then I got the spoolie to go with it. And I've seen a lot of people talking about this and how it gives that sort of like waxy, you know, laminated brow look. And I usually just use a brow gel, but I was like, I'm gonna try it. So here's the fancy spoolie, very nice. And I'm pretty sure what you do is just like rub it into the wax. I don't know how much to use, but I'm going to guess you don't need a lot. And then you just like run it through your brows. Ooh. Oh, I see. <laughs> kind of like the soap brow thing that people do. Like, have you seen that where people rub a spoolie on a bar of soap? I bet it's kind of similar to that, but yeah. Wow. Ooh, I mean, pretty good. I did put a tiny bit of powder in my brows just cause like the tint, it tints my hair, but not my skin. And I still have like really sparse brows, but like they're still looking so good. I am so pleased. All right, now we're gonna eat and then we're gonna hit the road. I need to get going a little early so I'm not late and don't make a bad impression. <laughs> Here is today's very casual OOTD because I'm gonna be laying there for like two hours um, and I would like to be comfortable. So I'm wearing my mustard converse, my favorite leggings from Target, my flannel is thrifted, my shirt is thrifted, and my hair is red. Let's go. All right, just got my lashes done. It's weird to look at in the viewfinder. It's gonna take some getting used to for sure, but I have no eye makeup on apart from 
these so pretty cool i'm getting gas right now which is like everyone's least favorite thing to do in the entire world i literally hate getting gas more than anything quadruple checking that um my thing still isn't attached because i have nightmares about that it's never happened to me but i'm always just scared that i'm gonna drive off and still be attached but i am not i was thinking about heading to trader joe's but i think i'm just gonna go home even though i just laid there for two and a half hours i'm tired like that was really fun she was nice we literally just talked the whole two and a half hours it's just like sitting there for such a long time having adhd kind of rough <laughs> i don't know how much i'll keep up with it but it's it was fun anyway i'm gonna head home and then we will see what else we get up to today i you know really the rest of the day i was planning on like packing and getting ready to go to disneyland and now we're not doing that so we'll see what else we get up to six and a half hours later it is much later now. I am in bed um, on my phone because I absolutely refuse to go downstairs to get my camera. I'm just way too lazy for that right now. I'm in my Jonas Brothers t-shirt. All is well with the world. I just like washed, washed my face the best I can because after having the lashes, you can't get them wet for 24 hours. That actually looks a lot better with that covered up, but whatever. I'm here with Moo. He's keeping me company right now. He loves being up here with me. I don't remember when this was, but like maybe a month ago, a new Pokemon game came out. And so Drew has been downstairs playing it every night after work. I'll have some YouTube time or some reading time and he will play his Pokemon game. It's quite nice. Like some final thoughts on the lashes. I like them. I don't know if I love them and not because of the lash artist or anything like that. I think she did a fantastic job. I just don't know if they're for me, but it is really nice to know that I have zero makeup on my face right now. Like none, literally none. My lips look really red because I couldn't put on chapstick for two and a half hours when she was doing my lashes. And this is how addicted to chapstick I am. My lips got so chapped in two and a half hours um, that it was actually miserable. But I didn't want to say anything. I didn't want to be like, can you stop and get me my chapstick? <laughs> so, you know, I survived. But I don't know. They're very expensive, but I get why people get them. Like for the having the low maintenance thing. And I appreciate that. And I still, I mean, she did a phenomenal job. Like, are you joking? Look at these. But I actually do kind of love it. Watch me keep up with it forever now. I don't know. But I think I'm going to dig into a new book because I finished my other book in the last, well, I talked about it in the last vlog. I ended up finishing it that night. I stayed up until like one in the morning finishing it and I was pissed. It was called The Silent Patient if you missed that vlog and I won't give any spoilers away, but there was just something at the end, like a twist that I didn't see coming and I just wasn't. It wasn't satisfying to me. I was mad. I was really mad. It wasn't the ending I was hoping for at all. I, I don't know really what I was hoping for, but this next book that I'm gonna start here, I'll show you. This book is called The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. And I would say more than any book on social media that I've seen recently, this is like the most recommended. Like everyone that I follow is reading this book or has recommended it in the last year or so. And I asked for it for Christmas and Drew got it for me. And it's basically about a former like Hollywood actress reliving her life and story of her seven husbands to a reporter. She's like a magazine reporter and she like chooses her to tell her story to and apparently it's like very compelling. So we'll see. But yeah, Moo is up here with me. We're gonna do some reading and some cuddling and probably fall asleep. It's literally like 9.30. I'll probably fall asleep by like 10 or 10.30, but I'm gonna try to get some reading in. It's just nice to like have a distraction for my brain. It is weird. One thing I like wasn't sure if I was gonna talk about that I'll just close off the vlog and finish with is that I did have some pretty intense anxiety during my appointment today. And I was like, why didn't I mention that when I was like, I, I think I do a pretty good job of making it seem like I'm all fine and hunky dory and everything's good, but I do struggle with anxiety still. It's just something that I've I've gotten so used to suppressing that I don't really talk about it that often. And I felt myself starting to have a panic attack in the appointment because I had my mask on. I was laying flat down on this table. She had my bottom eyelids and lashes taped. And then there was a light like this close to my eyes. So I kind of 
felt like with the mask and this over my eyes i literally kind of felt like i was being buried alive and i started like panicking and obviously she would never know that but i i couldn't focus on like what she was saying and i could just feel it like rushing all through my body like it comes in waves you know and i literally almost like flung the light off and like flung myself off of the bed because you're not even allowed to open your eyes because there's like you know glue and stuff anyways um i think that's kind of one of the other reasons that i don't know how i feel about it because i i just felt really claustrophobic like it was <sighs> i don't know i haven't had anxiety like that in a while like i used to get really bad anxiety on airplanes and sometimes in cars and in like situations where i was driving or whatever and that is probably the highest my anxiety has been like the closest to a panic attack i've had in a really long time and actually i do think it was kind of a mini panic attack because afterwards like my teeth were i felt like my teeth were kind of chattering and like my especially my abdomen like it, there was like quaking you know like i was like shaking a little bit and i hope she doesn't think <laughs> something's wrong with me but i mean something is wrong with me and she was really really sweet i could have just said something but it's like my first time meeting someone and i don't know it can feel really embarrassing it can feel embarrassing to be like hi i'm having a panic attack can i sit up for a second like i i would never be judgmental or anything like that if someone said that to me i would try anything to comfort them but it's so weird when the positions are switched and you're in that position and i don't know i'm going on a pointless tangent for no reason but just so you know i did sort of have a panic attack today <laughs> so that's another reason why i'm not sure if i want to keep up with it two and a half hours is a long time to lay down anyways we're all over the place as per usual it's just how my brain works I like start a thought and then I get distracted by something else and then I'm like, oh wait, and then I go back to it. But I am going to dig into this. I will let you know if it is worth the hype because I have heard nothing but amazing things about this. So we'll see. Love you all so much. Thanks for being here and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye. -bye. From me in these just absolutely flawless lashes. Goodbye.